I don't think he heard you. He took his headphones off already. Yeah. So, uh, did you look at the circuit, Joe? I did. I thought I thought it was a good improvement. I like it. I just I gotta build. I don't know if I can't use my coil on your circuit, but I might be able to use just like a regular solenoid. That might work. It's two coils. Yeah, but you put the two coils in one. Yeah, it's two coils connected to the circuit. No, I get that part, but think about this. You take your two coils, wrap them around the same iron bar, right? You can do that, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm shooting for. Well, See if maybe kind of, that'll uh, work. Yeah, but, maybe. you know, just remember one coil's reversing polarity. Yeah, so I'll have to wrap them in the opposite direction. I guess you could do that the over the core. same the same core. Yeah. Yeah, sure just can. to see, right? And if it doesn't work, that's a work good experiment. I, I didn't think of that. That's, I, I didn't think of that. That's a good experiment. Well, I was I looking at your circuit. Though. Your circuit makes sense. It's just how do you how do you employ that induction in there with the two coils? That's why I was thinking the iron bar, right? Well, if you look, if you got two batteries on the table and you take yep. the one thing you take one of the two coils and you go ah, on the one battery and disconnect the circuit oh, will yeah, then okay. fly it, the circuit will then fly it to the other battery and then you take the other coil for the other battery and you go ah, and you disconnect it and the circuit will fly it to the other battery and see and I the other that. coil and go ah, and you disconnect it and the circuit will fly it to the other battery and then you take the other coil and you go ah, and you disconnect it and the circuit will fly it to the other battery that's what's going on Oh no! I totally get that. I get your circuit 100. percent I, I like it. But you need I two. Get, you need two diodes on each. Uh, yeah, which and I'm negative trying to of do. Each battery on each coil. Yeah, which I want to do on one on one system. I don't want to. You know what I mean? Have to, I like the visual? I kind of get what you mean by that. But I'm gonna put I it on iron bar and. Okay. and well, I'll test it. We'll see. Yeah, you can build it. it, it <laughs> it might take, uh, it might be a matter of just finding the right components to make it work properly, like the right diodes. You know what I mean? And the right, it's just, the right. It's a high voltage diode back. for the flyback section. The one coil is charging, disconnect. Yep. That coil will fly back with a high voltage diode. The positive and negative it flips polarity, and you just, you know, and you connect that polarity flip with that with one high voltage diode to the other battery. And if that works, that that. And that then the next, the next, really the next cycle, the next cycle, the other coil on on the other battery will connect to that other battery, will charge off that other battery, disconnect, and then fly back into the other battery. See, it's and it's then, kind of the same thing. Well, no, it's not the same thing. I'm thinking. It's, all, I'm the only thing you, I'm, I'm doing. You, no, this not has not all. been. This has not been. At least to my knowledge, nobody has done this. Because no, everybody's I'm saying, doing, everybody's yeah. saying that they want it. Uh, you know, the, the pulse, the flyback, uh, uh, dump the flyback into a capacitor for a few mi uh, minutes and then dump the capacitor. That's the Bedini method, the, uh, yeah. cap, the cap dump method. I'm not doing cap that. I'm, method, I'm yeah. instantaneously back and forth, instantaneous. If you there's have no, the right there's coil. no time in, in between. If you have so the, the batteries, right coil, the batteries coil. never get a chance to drain. At least theoretically. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, you might have that same static issue that that... <laughs> I can't remember who it was recently. They had a really bad static issue every time. Oh, I think it was M-Tech Industries. Every time he went to go hook up his battery, his his uh, neon light indicator would turn on because there was so much high potential on his battery in comparison to the to the other battery. So that'll have to be tested. So, yeah, well, your your circuit's a good circuit. If I would works. say if that if you have it's an issue like that, but if you have if you have an, if you have an OU an OU issue, put a, a yeah. permanent load put a permanent load on something both the batteries. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't see an OU issue happening. Maybe a hundred percent efficiency for sure on on a, on a motor design. Because yeah, while no, you're know. while you're charging each coil, it can be used to drive the wheel. It could just make things more efficient. 
yeah, I mean, it's un yeah. untested. It, it definitely, it's a. Uh, it does not short out. And it, it works. Now, I wonder if your circuit works and you put it on a system that's close to OU, you might get OU. <laughs> I have never, never know, I've right? Never replicate, I've never replicated an OU device like McDonald's made, it yet, so I don't know. But I've done the Bedini device, and I do think that is an OU device. I've seen with my own eyes evidence of OU. Yeah, me too. So I've I just if I just created this circuit based off of Bedini's method of the flyback capture to uh, experiment. I took and, uh, Benini's uh, system and brought it to a different level. I put the uh, flyback into a coil through geometrical form. And I've actually done a lot of work in this last week to put the right theory to the mark, so to speak. And I think I got it. We'll see. Where's gonna... your geometry? Where's, where's, where are you heading with your geometry? Where do you see it landing on the shape? Uh, there's multiple shapes. This next coil is insane. And it has to do with gases as well. I'm trying to achieve the same thing that Stanley Meyer is doing with his EPG, but I'm doing it slightly differently. I'm using a geometrical coil to pulse the copper tubing and what's in the copper tubing, but it's not connected the same way. When you see it, you'll understand. It looks Are you like trying to create solid. multiple poles and stuff like that? I already got that, yeah. Yeah, I got That's multiple layers. There's three layers. It looks like three floors. It's insane. I'll show it next week. I wanted to show it this week, but uh, I got to do a little bit of work to, to make sure that I didn't make a mistake. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to bring it on and all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Oh, that's a misinterpretation, and it just doesn't work. Yeah. I've had that happen. So. Well, the, the, the worst is, is when it works, but not for the, the reason you hope, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's that's experimentation, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah.